Hey everybody, hey, this is Carlo Wine here, Wine Engines. I want to try to do a narration and, and, and show what I did yesterday trying to figure out an oil pressure, uh, I guess an oil pressure problem. This engine was on the dyno the other day and I haven't posted anything about it. And yesterday I did troubleshooting and discovered and well, discovered the solution and fixed it, but I didn't do any uh, video. So this is how I come in in the shop bright and early, eight o'clock, uh, eight, uh, 20 on Sunday morning and worked on this for a half a day yesterday. And uh, this is Tim Cahall's engine. It was on the dyno and I'll show you that. It made something like 538 horsepower or something like that um, on the dyno. It's a high revving setup, uh, long duration cam with uh, like these AFR2, these AFR180 heads are ported or hogged out to something like uh, intake runners or somewhere around 220. Uh, but anyway, right away on the dyno, I saw that it, oil pressure was only 50 pounds no matter what, you know, at higher RPM, 50 pounds. And it needs to be normal. Normal would be like 70 to 80 PSI. And so noted that and wondered, was it the lifters? Because we had put, we had made sure to double check. Uh, these are the new, these are the replacement lifters. We had the, uh, a stock style lifter in there and, and this motor was bought, you know, secondhand, and they had already machined down this lifter boss so that they could put in a Gen 1 style short mechanical roller and the tie bars then would be allowed to um, go down in this area. Well, we didn't need that, but we had to make sure that the stock lifter didn't come up too far and then expose the narrower, narrower narrower gap that would then allow to fluid to leak out. That's what we were thinking that we might have to worry about that and that might be where the oil pressure went away. 20 pounds of oil pressure. I had my doubts. I didn't think that that was it. it um, because, well, you never know. I mean, it, pressure was, was missing. So what did we do? Well, we found another set of lifters that had that, a narrower band. We found these, um, you know, that it's Howard's cams. They're just a repackaged uh, Johnson lifter or, um, and this brand, okay. So it's hydraulic. It has a narrow band you'll see in the insert and it doesn't come close to exposing the, uh, like the oil passage. It doesn't even come close. We double checked down below also at the cam tunnel and down below it doesn't even come close to exp So no leak from these. Okay, so what we did yesterday, put these lifters in, filter at five quarts of oil, and spun the drill to see if that was our solution. Actually, we got 50 pounds PSIG or less. Or, oh no, yeah, we were, that's what we got, we got 50 pounds. Uh, when we initially spun it at the initial building of this, I saw it on the, uh, replayed the video and I saw it went up to 60 pounds. So we were already no good. So I figured, hey, you know what? Uh, it's probably just a, a fluke in the oil pump. The oil pump is a high pressure spring. And so the M155 has a high pressure spring and it's standard volume. And that 
pump has provided uh, reliable service to many, many engines, and it's been given 70 pounds on the uh, at high RPM, 70 PSIG, with my standard oil bearing clearance and the way I make the engine. And this one just probably had a bad spring. It could have been when I, I've done it on every oil pump, when I have to press in a uh, oil pump pickup, I do heat up the area, the tube, and the spring is, is housed in that um, part of the oil pump, and it could get, uh, I guess what is, it could lose its tension from the heat. It's never happened in the past, but that could have been the problem. So we went and got another oil pump off the shelf, one of those, knowing that that was also a 70 pounder, put that in. It wasn't so bad because we just took the Steph's pan down, put the oil pump in, um, buttoned her up, spun her up and tried it again. And it gave us pressure. It gave us the pressure we needed, like 68 pounds or 65 pounds. Okay, so let's get a new pump. No, hey. We decided to find a, I had a spring in here, a spare one. We found out that it was a high pressure spring. We compared it to the tension of the one that was in that original 155 that was in here. We just swapped them out and we also shimmed it. We kind of went overboard because we put that pump in and the answer was we spun the, the gauge. We spun it up uh, with the drill. Um, we ended up with something like 70 pounds with the drill. And so in a nutshell, what it was, was we changed, we took the oil pump, we put a nice new high pressure spring in it. Even with a shim, it gives us a little more pressure. Spun it with the drill, gave us the pressure we we're looking for, and this is gonna go back on the dyno. If we can tune, we're trying to get 550 horsepower on in this. It gave us, on the dyno, you'll see that we only went to uh, 6,200 RPM, 6,400, something like that. And it was still creeping up on power. We didn't want to go any further with the 50 pounds of oil pressure. So we called it a day. And now that we're going to have normal oil pressure, we're going to go back to the dyno and take that thing up to whatever, 6,800 or wherever it falls off at. And we'll see what we get. All right, Carla 101 engines, take care. Okay, the kill switch, the kill switch right here, and the starter switch right here. All right, here we go. Oh. On. Okay, she works.